welcome to Practice Paint today. And what we're going to do is we put three colors or two colors and one medium. We use floating medium when we need it to move like butter. We use the uh, two multi-surface colors that go on a um, um, array of surfaces, glass, metal, ceramic, indoor, outdoor, canvas, paper. This is scrapbooking paper that I'm going to be working on today. And we're going to do bows and ribbons. So I want you to know this. Wicker white, cobalt, multi-surface, okay, and floating medium. This is folk art floating medium, okay? Now, we're going to use the one-stroke brushes, which you can find all of this on onestroke.com, my website, all spelled out, okay? So the first thing I want to do is we're going to wet this brush, and we are not going to use floating medium this time. We're going to use inky paint. The only time I use water usually ever, except to clean the brushes, is when I'm using my script liner, the two script liner. The one script lighter and lights the times I use with just regular paint. All right. So see, I'm rolling this in there. So I dip water. I make a couple circles. So I touch the paint, touch the paint. And then I have a nice puddle, which will make it possible for me to finish my whole bow. Okay. So I want to see you practice a couple of strokes. I'm going to touch and I'm going to loop down and slide up. Loop down and slide up okay so see i'm shoving it up that doesn't work so it's loop and loop so the difference is is that i'm not pushing the brush up i am having it follow me so let me do it upside down and show you okay so if i'm coming here and i pull up I mean, here and I pull where it's following me. All right. So I'm going to come right here and show you that I'm going to go one, two, and this is a loopy bowl. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to. Make a loose ribbon. All right. And then I'm going to come right here and do a couple of C's. All right. So I can add some weight in there occasionally. Like when I'm coming back down, I can come a little bit in here. Just adding a teeny bit of highlight here and there if you want to. But lots of times I just do that string bow, all right? So this is what it isn't. It isn't an eight, all right? I don't usually make it go straight out and straight out. If I do, the next one loops and loops, okay? In the middle of the first one, okay? So it helps if you don't have a shaky hand, have a shaky hand this one. All right, so then we're going to practice. We're going to pick up some medium, and I'm going to pick up just the cobalt on both sides of this number 12 flat brush. Now, what I want you to practice is chisel, push, pressure, chisel, pressure to the other side, chisel, and we're done. All right. The other thing I want you to do, and it helps you to pull it down like this, yeah, a little bit of floating medium, so it moves for me. As if you practice going chisel, flat, chisel, flat, chisel, flat, chisel. Because what happens is you learn to be way up on the chisel, way up on the chisel, and then lay the other way. All right, so it's zigzag. So there again, this is chisel, lay it to the side, chisel, lay it to the side. And you're moving the whole time. Okay. So those are some exercises. Now this is what I want to show you. All right. I'm going to come right down here. Chisel. Pressure. Stand up. Pressure the other way. And come back. So I got to a chisel right there. 
All right. So chisel, pressure, chisel, pressure reverse, and chisel back up. All right. So we want this, both of these, to come there. All right. So now I can chisel, lay it to the side, lay it to the side for the ribbon. This is a practice. Remember practice strokes, chisel, pressure, chisel. All right. And then we do a C. So see that C goes just like that. So we're going to tie this together with a C. All right. Now I can pick up a little bit of highlight on here. It on both sides. There we go. All right. I can also come in here and highlight there and highlight here. All right. So now this is what I'm going to show you. I'm going to pick up blue and side stroke white. Back and forth, back and forth. Okay. Now I'm going to dip in some medium. And then go back and forth on top of here to work that in. And I want this to feel like butter. So I want you to see what happens here. We're going to come down, press, chisel, press the other way. All right, so we're going to come down here. Pressure, stand up, chisel, lay it the other way, chisel back. All right, so it already shades everything for you as you go. And see, if you're looking at this, the white would be back here. So it looks like it folds just like that. All right, so now I can come in here, lay it down, stand up to the chisel, lay it the other way, stand to the chisel, and lay it the other way. All right, we, we need enough medium on here that you can do all that. So here we go again, chisel, lay to the side, stand up, lay to the side, pressure and come up. All right, so that's the practice. All right, and then we're gonna come right here and we're gonna do one, Two. So you put a double stroke there to knot it. So those are three simple ways to do ribbon. And I'm going to um, show you that if we have the white on here, we chisel, we lay it to the side, chisel, lay it to the opposite side, chisel, lay it to the side. And you just keep practicing that. Practice these loops, practice that, and see. I was all wobbly there. Um, I would say I did it on purpose, but you know what I did. <laughs> all right. So have a good day. Practice, practice. This is your practice for the week. So you can do all kinds of Christmas bows and ribbons and, and into your floral bouquets. Thank you. Bye-bye.